Hello and welcome for the ADCBA's Express Design course here, Express PCB Design course here. And um, so today we'll be learning the different aspects that pertain to PCB design. Now earlier in the past, we have already worked on the Express Schematics software, whereby we learned how to draw the electronics engineering schematics for electronics designs. So out here we'll be working uh, today and in the subsequent videos and sessions on the Express PCB Plus software that we use for designing the PCBs. So as I launched this software, you can see that this window popped up, that is a properties window. So what does this particular window do? It provides us with the board details and uh, any relevant document that comes over and the rules, of course. Uh, these aspects are very uh, significant and important because for any PCB that you are designing, um, the board the doc documentation and the rules that govern it are always important, are always set to be predefined. So this becomes an important aspect. Of course, we are sticking with the default settings or the defaults that values that they have here. So I'm not making any changes here. No part number and nothing I'm writing. I'm just clicking OK and moving on. Rather, I'll cancel it. So uh, what is it that we have here? In this particular course, we will be going through the different menus. We have the file menu, the edit menu, arrange, view. Now this is also an important aspect or this important menu. Because out here we'll be checking out for the visibilities and um, also the different uh, layers of the PCB. Typically silk screen layer or the top copper layer, bottom copper layer. Then uh, out here we have the grid as well. Now we already have the grid as lines. If you want to make it dots, we can convert it to dots. So it will look something like this. Or we can hide it all together. But that is not a great idea. It's always suggested that you have lines or at least to maintain the dots as grids because that helps you all to trace the components properly on the PCB. So that is another aspect. And then you have the design info that you want is for board properties, bill of materials, the DRCs and comparison. We also have the calculator scratch pad where you can juggle something if you want to ca uh, calculate something. And then we have the help menu out here that you can use if you want to get started, you want any understanding on the PCB manufacturing, then you can click on that. That will take you to the other website, but that's okay. That's not what we are discussing right now. And um, these are the different toolbars that you can see here, the file, the font. You can change any of these fonts that you want. And that's the shape. Now, the top copper shape is what? In red color, the top is in screen layer. It's in the yellow color and the bottom copper layer is always in green color typically. And uh, the top and the bottom annotations are in white color. You can see that there is a shape here. The tool thickness is also mentioned here and the part description, the file description. And these are the different holes and pads. Now, what are these different holes and pads? That is something that we look at when we come to the toolbars. And then you have the size and the position. As you move forward, you can see there is an arrow here. So if you click on that, you can move forward and it will tell you the color and the visibility. So um, that's the color and the visibility, okay? If you want to, you can change this. So out here we can see that there are different colors and the different visibilities. Okay, all visible are checked. So there is a top silk screen layer is in yellow color, top copper is red color, inner copper, there are different inner copper layers also. There are bottom copper layers also. There is a solder mask layer also. So um, depending upon the colors, you have the different, uh, depending upon the layers you have different colors and visibility that is provided if you click on turnover so this is the turnover that you will be able to see i mean uh, the next side of the other side of the pcb and then you can arrange you know you can arrange your components based on the way you want to arrange them you can rotate your components also using these buttons and that is a group associates and select element and move to select together so uh, these are, this is for ungrouping the set of elements that you have selected and uh, then you have the, you can create a symbol. So it is 
reasonably comprehensive software. Now that is that was of course pertaining to path uh, tools. Uh, sorry, that was pertaining to the toolbars. If we go a little forward here, you can see you can see that you also have the different tools that are available over here, the hole and the pad. If you have, if you wish to add any hat or a keep or uh, if you wish to add a hole out here, you can click on that. So that's the hole that you have added here. And if you want to add a part, you can select on part. And then when you select on part, this gallery opens up that you can see here. And in this particular gallery, you can select whichever category of the part you want to select. You can select a battery or a capacitor, diode, or dual inline package, integrated circuit, inductor, LCD. But these are different types of, these are the different categories that you see here. You have a transistor, you have surface mount device, SMD, ICs, and SMD2. So that is what we have. Oops, what happened? Okay, so we'll keep it minimized, no problem. So then that is the part menu that you see there and then you have the traces. So when you click on... So there was the parts and then um, you can also let's click on part and let me show you all something now um, if you want you can select import any of the express PCB parts by clicking on this alternatively if you all want you can simply open the parts window here and um, yeah you can select on more parts in library and this particular library opens up want to close it you'll be able to close that and um, so let's click on more parts in library now I'm just picking any random part just to show you all how it appears and looks like so I'm selecting something like um, a 555 timer double five 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 triple five timer okay and uh, I'm setting it arranging it over here and I'm taking another part that's a diode. Uh, I'm placing it over here. Now if I want to rotate this part, I'll select this and then I'll right click on that. Alternatively, if you want to rotate it, you can also come here. So that is some of a bit of a shortcoming here that you would need. But uh, yeah, you can rotate the part like this. And then uh, I'll move this part closer to this particular pin. Instead of having the grid lines, it is also advised that you all can select the dots also. So let's select dots. When you have dots, it's, it becomes a lot more easier for you all to place the parts. Now I want to place now I want to draw a trace. Okay, so I'll click on a trace here. And I'll come here. Now you can see that there is a cursor with a line out here. So I'm drawing connecting here and bringing and connecting out over here. After this connection is done, what I'll do is I'll press the escape key. Otherwise this will continue. So if I when I place escape uh, press escape key on my keypad. On the, on the keyboard it will disconnect so like that trace won't get extended any further so anyway these are some small uh, hints that I'm showing you all as to how the software will work and um, so fine let's do one thing um, in the next video let's start with the, the different menus that we have and uh, of course these are the additional uh, options that the tools that are available you want to add a text you can add a text so I click on text I come here and I insert what is the top copper layer now this is the top copper layer on which I'm adding a text if you want you can change it to the bottom copper layer also I'll add it on a silk screen top silk screen 
I'll type in here um, D1 that is for diode click OK so now this is already typed in here and I click OK cancel it I'll click on a line so if you want to draw a line you can draw a line as well a rectangle or a polygon anything that you wish to you can draw it and then you can also check for the continuity so you can check for the continuity between here and here of course that will come on all that little later and then you also check for the net connections you can validate the net list also if you want but these points I'll cover in the subsequent um, videos but this is how you work on the PCB design software that you can see here and uh, once you are done then um, you'll be able to design the PCBs on your own so this is what we have as far as the introduction to Express PCB Plus software is concerned and uh, in the next videos I'll be working on the different menus that will be easier for you all to work on and then of course we'll take a small case study we'll also draw a, we'll also design a PCB on some, some of the very simple so, um, circuits that we have built using express schematic so till then thank you uh, for attending this particular session